He was a son, a father, a friend. He was double deuce. Being a firefighter wasn't just his job. It was his life, his legacy. So don't let today be the last day that you remember Johnny. Don't let it be the last day that you think of those who we've lost before him. Good evening. Thanks for joining us here on 3 News at 6. I'm Neil Fisher. Tonight, the city of Cleveland said goodbye to one of their own. Cleveland firefighter Johnny Tetrick was laid to rest today one week after he was hit and killed while responding to a call on I-90. Emma Henderson leads us off tonight with scenes from the procession and the funeral. Emma, good evening. Hi, Neil. So there were hundreds of people, many first responders in downtown Cleveland, saying a final goodbye to firefighter Johnny Tetrick. Fire trucks and flashing lights guide the procession for fallen firefighter Johnny Tetrick from Willoughby Hills to Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, where photos of a life lived in service to others hover ahead as the city pauses to say goodbye. Comfort and strengthen us as we honor firefighter Johnny Tetrick, who was offered selfless service and the ultimate sacrifice. His daughters all pay tribute by sharing the lessons they learned from quality time spent with dad. He taught us countless lessons, like don't bite the hand that feeds you. Leave a place better than you found it. Be slow to speak and quick to listen. When we fell off our bikes, he picked us up, told us to suck it up and get back on, even though we were bloody. His family and friends feeling comfort in knowing that Johnny Tetrick was a man of deep faith and that he displayed this in his actions in every day of his life. They declared emphatically that he lived his life as if he had two feet in heaven. He had the following verse written on his helmet, greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. And while he was remembered as a hard worker, man of faith, dedicated best friend and neighbor, the title each speaker agreed was most important to Johnny Tetrick was that of dad. He was always willing to donate a helping hand, a listening ear, a genuine smile, and an avid heart. He was the man you went to when you needed your oil changed but he was also the man you went to when you needed your heart changed. Now we also learned that Johnny Tetrick will be, of course, memorialized by the IAFF coming up sometime later this year or early next year, Neil. All right, Emma Henderson reporting for us tonight. Thank you very much, Emma, appreciate it. His for, uh, tonight, if you want to learn more about Johnny Tetrick's life and what he did for the Cleveland Fire Department, we have a whole list on our website at WKYC.com that's filled with more stories in the entire service as well as other images from that procession and funeral today.